Hey guys, it's Alex, and today I'm here with the tiny sleepy baby kitty who's just so tired, too tired to chirp at me for touching her. But we are here to review Three Dark Crowns by Kim Darblick. I buddy read this with Grace from Beautiful Bookworm, and I believe we both thoroughly enjoyed this book. I gave it four stars. This is a young adult fantasy novel about a queendom in which there are three queens born every generation triplets. They each have a special gift, and that gift is a magical ability that puts them in a specific group of people who all have that magical ability or live with those who have it. There is a group of poisoners, there is a group of elementals, and there is a group of naturalists. There are also some more rare abilities like people with the war gift and people who are seers, but in this book the three queens are a poisoner, an elemental, and a naturalist. On their 16th birthday, they start a year or several months where they all have to try to kill each other and whichever queen survives becomes the main queen and gets to rule the land. I thought the overall story was really fascinating. I was just invested. I wanted to figure out what was going to happen, why this was happening, why they're all trying to kill each other. It's just a fascinating concept to me. And I think the storytelling itself and like where the story is going is just so interesting. Like, I am down. This whole book, I was just down for the story and down for, like, this world. I think it's just, like, a really interesting concept and something that I don't know how much I've seen stuff like this explored like this, which is really vague and a bad way to word it. But it just seems kind of unique and kind of different. And I don't read super much fantasy, so that could also be a reason why. But even with the fantasy I've read, it seems different. And the story I just really enjoyed. I was down for the story this entire book and the ending of this made me super down for the story in the next book and the rest of the series. But I did have some negatives. I did almost give this book three stars. Up until the very end I was it was kind of on par for a three star rating from me but I'll kind of get into the negatives and then go back to my positives. The first negative for me is the world itself. There is so much in this world that is just entirely based off of tradition. And I do understand that in fantasy novels that has to be a thing. Because there's so much based off tradition in our world. It's just like we do this thing not because it makes logical sense but because we've always done it. That's tradition. That's the way things work. And I understand that. But there was so much in this book that was entirely illogical, that made zero sense in the world, and didn't even fully make sense in the context of this society. And they would just excuse it with tradition. Like, oh, it's tradition. It's the way we've always done it. This is just the way things are. And it kind of felt like it was too much for me. Like, I do understand, like, that's going to crop up in every fantasy novel, and every book ever is based on tradition in some way. But it was too much in here for me. It was just too heavily based on tradition and I really wish there'd been like a little more explanation. And that might be something that kind of comes up in later books in the series because this is, you know, the first book. You're introducing everything and you can't get into the backstory behind literally everything. But it was something that bothered me and it was something I continually noticed. Like, this doesn't make sense. We're doing it because tradition. It still doesn't make sense why you're doing it when it just seems unnecessarily difficult and convoluted. But I, I am willing to see if the, like, that's going to change in later books because I would really appreciate having more reasons behind everything that they're doing. I also think the writing style was a little bit difficult for me to get into. It's written in third person present tense, which is always kind of weird for me. Not bad weird, just like weird. It never flows exactly right for me. And it took a long time for me to really get into the rhythm of this book just from the writing style. And that definitely got better as the book went along. But I think if you're someone like me who struggles with third person present tense, that's something to know going in that it's just, it might take a while for it to kind of feel more natural. And it never fully got completely natural for me, but it definitely got better. My main issue in this was the pacing. And I think this is something I've heard a lot of people critique this book for when they've done reviews, is that they call this book slow and they say it's really slow and really boring but it gets better in the second book, which I haven't read the second book yet but I'm so down for it to get better in that regard. I don't entirely agree with people that it's slow. 
but I understand what they're saying. I just don't think slow is the exact right word for it because I really love slow books. I love when things are just painfully drawn out and like you get to see every single detail and it just goes on forever. I really enjoy that. But that's not what this book is. It's not that it's slow, it just seems like it's paced very irregularly and there's a lot of talking about doing things and then you skip the actual doing thing part and then you go back to talking about the fact that you did the thing. And that kind of irritated me. For example, the easy example I pull out that's not a spoiler, one of the queens, they're going to teach her how to flirt with the, with the guys because the queens have suitors and they want her to be able to win over all the suitors so that that will help her in her bid for the queendom. Which makes sense within the context of the story even if it sounds very strange. But she's basically been a shut-in her entire life. She's very shy, she's never really dealt with outside people, she's been abused, she doesn't know how to flirt in any concept. And they kind of talk about how they're going to do it, like her mentor and or her mentors, I guess, kind of talk about how they're going to teach her how to flirt and how that's going to help them in their bid for the queendom. And then the chapter ends and you get a chapter from her sister and a chapter from the other sister because it alternates chapter. And by the time we get back to her, they're talking about all the progress she's made and you don't actually get to see her learning how to flirt very much. And that kind of rubbed me the wrong way. It felt very strangely paced and it felt like we were missing a lot of important things and just hearing people talk about all the things that were going on because there was too much that needed to happen in this book and too much that needed to be illustrated. I just feel like it needed to focus on different elements. It needed to focus on them showing how she was learning to flirt with people rather than just like talking about how they were going to do it and then they did it. It was it was a little bit rough in that regard. And I think it needed to be slowed down. Like it needed to focus on these elements of things that were happening and it needed to have more buildup because some things would just happen without any buildup and then they were just there and out and it was like, where did this come from? And the pacing in general just felt off to me. And I do think from the way people talk that that will be something that's better in the second book, but in this one it, it was really a problem for me. Like that was the main reason it was going to get three stars. And I think that's the main reason a lot of people don't particularly enjoy this book when compared with the rest of the series. Like people like this book, don't get me wrong, I thought it was a really good book. I gave it four stars. Like I'm not trying to be like, this was bad. Because it wasn't. I really enjoy it. Would recommend it if it sounds interesting to you. But I have heard a lot of people saying that like of the series, this one was a little rough, but the second one gets really good. And I do understand where that's coming from. I think I explained that really poorly, but basically the pacing was off. The pacing was very jarring and it felt like out of place with how she was telling the story. I think a better way of saying it that I actually wrote down in my notes and forgot to mention on here is that the alternating points of views allowed a lot of the growth and development to happen like off screen and then we would hear about the growth and development that happened rather than getting to see it happen and I think that was a big problem for me. So better way of putting it and I just explained for five minutes for no reason. I also had some difficulties with the romance and the characters themselves. A lot of it felt very fake and forced to me. Like every single romance in this book felt very fake and forced to me and I couldn't ever tell when it was supposed to feel fake and when it was supposed to feel real because I just assumed all of the relationships were just fake within the story for like most of this book. I just assumed that like the guys were lying to the girls because we get to see the girls perspectives and like what they're lying or being truthful about. I just assumed all the guys in this book were lying and manipulating the girls because the relationships felt fake and I didn't believe any of the characters and they felt so shallow like I think that was a big thing for me. The guy would be like, oh, I love you so much, and I'll be like, this came out of nowhere. There is absolutely no reason for you to feel this way for this girl. You haven't known this girl for a very long time, so you must be lying. And whether or not it was true, I felt that way about every single relationship in this book. I was like, you must be lying. You must be using this girl for nefarious reasons. And it, it irritated me that I felt that way constantly even when it was uncalled for and I think that was because of how shallow and fake all the relationships felt. I just I didn't care about the romance and I like romance in books. I'm a big fan of romance. I just don't think it was very well done here and I'm I'm hoping that it will be either less of a focus or much more developed in the rest of the series. And it was also just kind of annoying how the girls would the girls I say the girls because there are like four 
major female characters who are all like 16 years old. And some of them are sisters and queens and I don't remember any of their names because I'm terrible with names. But that's what I mean when I say the girls is like the three main queen sisters and then one of their mentors who is also the same age. But what I was saying is it was also annoying how the girls would have like these big dramatic things they were focusing on. They were like, I don't want to commit this murder. Like, this is murder. This is wrong. I don't support this. I don't want to be used in this way. And then a boy would come along and be like, hey, you're pretty. And suddenly, like, everything else would fly out the window. There were all these important issues. And they were like, okay, let's make out now. And it was, I didn't like how much they just completely dropped everything for the romances when the romances were not that very well developed. So that was my last of the negatives. And it's like, why did you give this book four stars? with so many of these negative things. I like the story. Like, I was here for the story, and that was pretty much it. If I'm invested in the story, if I care about the story, she's clearly doing something right. I'm very interested in the three main queen characters, and I'm interested in where they're going to go, because I do think they're set up for a very interesting trajectory. I think it could be very, very intense, and I think that intensity is just going to build more and more in the next books. And the ending of this book. Like I said, I was set to give this book three stars until I got to the ending. And then I was like, oh, damn, this got intense really fast. I am here for this. And I just immediately went and got the next two books from the library, which I haven't read yet. But the ending really got me good. And it was kind of just done in a way where I was like, I am suddenly down for this whole story. I am suddenly here for everything that's about to happen because it was really cool and really well done and I wasn't expecting it but it wasn't that it shocked me in a plot twist way, it was more that it opened up a lot more room for where the story was going to go and it solved a lot of problems that had been in the book and I just thought it was a really well done ending and I've heard numerous other people say that as well so I don't think I'm saying anything shocking here, I just, I really liked it. I was down for this story. I do think if the second book is more like this in terms of pacing and the romantic relationships and all of that, I might be less generous. But because this sort of seems set up for somewhere very exciting and very good, it kind of left me on a note where I was just like, yes, I'm down for this story. This is so exciting. And when a book ends in a way that really pleases me, I'm going to be more positive on it because it leaves me feeling very, very good. So my overall thoughts on the book are going to be made much more positive. Like a good ending is a really powerful tool in the book and I thought this had a fantastic ending. So overall, if this sounds interesting to you, I would recommend it a little bit hesitantly just because it did have some rough points and I haven't read the rest of the series so I don't know if it gets better or not. But I'm very excited for the rest of the series and I just think it was it was a good book. I was here for it and I was excited. Let me know down below if you've read Three Dark Crowns and what you thought of it if you have. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see y'all again soon.